Hey. Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Nina. What do you got for us today? Well, today we'll be cooking linguine with some uh, yellow and red peppers. Probably you got to throw a little bit of spinach in there and uh, some garlic, onions, a little bit of uh, red chili flakes, a little, little white wine. And... Now let me ask you, is it something that I can cook? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's magical though. Okay, All let's right. get cooking. Okay, so we've got our uh, linguine pasta all cooked. We've got our water, uh, salt in the water, and pasta in there. Get the pasta all cooked and everything, uh, just to speed things up. We've got already got some pasta all prepared. Now, for hold on. It's not that easy. How long did you cook the pasta for? I probably cooked it for about, roughly about eight minutes. Once the water gets boiling, until it's al dente. You know, they always say those Italian <laughs> guys, Italian, I say al dente. Okay, and now okay. what did you put in the boiling water. I just put a little bit of salt just to get the uh, water to flavor a little bit so the flavor will be transferred over to the pasta. Okay. All right, so I've got my pasta all cooked. On my stove, I've got um, my pan. All right, I've also got some peppers here which I'm gonna, I'm gonna get slicing. All right, just so we get Oops. uniform sizes. Okay. See, not all of us are that skilled with a well, if cleaver. We, if we're not, we just take our time. Take our sweet time because I'll tell you one thing. Fingers aren't very flavorful. <laughs> so, we just take our time. Get in there. All right, we got some green peppers. Uh, probably some green onions here. We've got a, a cooking onion. garlic of course plus pasta without garlic right lots of garlic I right, just bang her down the side of her knives or her cleaver just give it a bang and get a nice crush going and we'll just kind of just mince her up just a little rough chop all right so let me get it in there so let's recap what do you have in the bowl all right so we've got some We've got some red and some uh, yellow peppers. We've got some uh, cooking onions, garlic, and some spring onions, some green onions. All right, pasta's, pasta's cooked. So we're gonna just turn the stove off, get this off to the side, as we're gonna have to drain that. So in our frying pan, on our burner, we'll turn that on high. All right, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And how much olive oil did you put in uh, there? Probably about three tablespoons. Okay. We'll get that going. All right. So once we get our olive oil going, we'll put our peppers or garlic as well as our onions in a pan. Get a little sizzle going on. Do you have the, what temperature is the stove on? The stove is currently on the high just to get it going, just to sweat it a little bit. And then we're going to bring it down to a medium heat. Once we get that going, we're going to put a little bit of fresh thyme, just, just the leaves. Try and get the leaves off and put some thyme leaves in there. And once everything gets sweaty, you can smell the aroma. It's absolutely delightful. All right, we've got some cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes cut in half. We're just gonna dump that in, okay? We're gonna create a nice little sauce for this. The colors are absolutely scrumptious. All right, we're gonna put a little bit of chili flakes, red chili flakes. Okay, we're gonna... Now, are those hot? Um, they're not really hot. They've got a little bit of a bite, but not, not too much of a bite. They're quite tolerable. And of course, with that, a little sea salt. 
and cracked black pepper. Alright, we're going to add a little magic to this. Okay, if this gets going, we're going to add some white wine, which is going to just mm, enhance the flavor so much more. Right, we're going to put probably a half a cup of white wine. Now, what's a little bit more? And once we get that going, we just let them let them all cook and say hi to each other. Very magical. Lovely colors. And as we allow the white wine to reduce, uh, approximately by about a half, we're going to add some heavy cream, some 35% cream to that. In the meantime, I'm going to strain off my pasta, get it ready for the stuff. is all ready for the sauce. Then. We've got our white wine, our 35% cream, and parmesan some cheese. freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Alright, so we're going to add to this our 35% cream as that white wine is reduced by a half. We're going to add about a cup of heavy cream. Mm. All right, that's 35% cream. So at this point, uh, we're gonna add, we're gonna add a little butter to this product just to give it some silkiness, gonna give it a bit of body. We're gonna allow the 35% the, the, uh, cream to reduce itself is gonna thicken up. Okay, as, as the heat gets applied to the cream, it gets richer and thicker and more robust. Okay, so once we add our Parmesan cheese to that, it's gonna, it's gonna really stick together and it's gonna attach itself to the pasta and it's just gonna flavor the whole dish. All right, as you can see that product, it is getting thicker. All right, gonna add the, just about two teaspoons of, of butter, just a dollop of butter in there. I don't think this meal is very calorie-wise. Well, it really isn't. It's not good for the waistline, but it certainly is flavorful. And with that, I'm gonna add my Parmesan cheese. Okay, half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And then here comes the pasta. All right, pasta in there. but certainly not least, some pesto, okay? Get, get some pesto in there. Oh, we're just gonna put all, might as well put everything. Why, why not? Get it all in there. And what's pesto? Well, pesto is a combination of basil, uh, garlic, as well as pine nuts, okay? And, and where, for those of us who don't use pesto, where would we find it? And anywhere it's your local grocer. In the section with the pasta, with the pasta sauce, you'll find it at any one of your local grocer. Look at it. Let's get a close up on the bottle of the pesto. Look at Just that. in case we're not yeah. used to these type of ingredients. Right, that's, that's there we go. That is pesto. Made from basil. You can make your own in the summer if you grow your basil. That and smells that's, good. And that's your finished product right there, folks. Start to finish, 15 minutes or less. And dinner is served. Look at that. Wow. All right, so we're going to plate this. Mm. 
But that is delicious. That is absolutely delicious. And he's just added a little bit more freshly ground Parmesan cheese with some freshly chopped parsley. And that's a completed meal. Now, folks, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we look forward to see you on the next episode. Bye, friends.